Yes. Pie? Is it time for pie? But it's too dark. All right, we need light. More light, more light. Yeah, it's like crazy. There you go. It's a little bright. You can like. That's a bit better there. Oh, that's much better. Woo! Ah! It's so bright in here. Okay, um, pie. We're making pie. So, I promised you this apple pie. So, one of the things I did. As I talked about this before, I said pie crust. Pie crust is difficult. Hello, it is Allison in the kitchen. Who's going to do the cooking? That would be me. Uh, I mentioned that pie crust was hard. I mean, you can get the Crisco and the flour and all the stuff, and I do have a Is that like out? That light? Yeah, that's a bright set yet, so that's why we have light. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you can make pie crust, and I can show you how to do that, but it is kind of hard. So what I did is I bought frozen pie crust. It's good, though. This is actually, it's a deep dish. Look at that. That's pretty nice, right? Frozen pie crust. And they sell them in packs of two. And the reason they sell them in packs of two is, sure, you might want to make two pies. Some in packs of two, because what you do is you put all your pie in here, and then you take the other one, and you literally just dump it out on top and go, look, top crust! And there's no rolling, and there's no thing. It's, it's, so, yeah, we're going to do that. So they're just warning you that we're totally faking it on the pie crust. Because this is all about making things easy. You know what else I bought? I bought this. What in the heck? I got this. I got this at the hardware store. I didn't even go to the kitchen store. I went to the hardware store and I found this. And it is a, uh, a pie crust shield. It even says pie crust shield. It is a pie crust shield. And you place this, you can bet, thusly on the pie crust. Because you know how like when you bake a pie and the edges, maybe well, if you never baked a pie, but pie, the edges will get dark, they will burn, they will burn. By the time your pie is done, they're just she, they're, 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 and then they're lovely. And it totally works. It really, really works. It's kind of awesome. So I have the oven on. Yeah, yeah, we're, pre we're, we're preheating. It's good. So pie, pie, and pie. How do we make pie? <coughs> Apples, <laughs> obviously. But what kind of apples? This is the thing with apple pie. What kind of apples? Granny Smiths are green. 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 Are great because they are sour. Because apple pie, you tend to put a lot of sugar in. And apple pie can be very sweet, but these are ta tart, tart. So you want a little bit of tart. Now, you maybe you don't you could do a mall tart. Some people like the whole pie out of Granny Smith and just add like a lot of sugar. Or you add also a sweet apple. Not the red delicious because they're just like mealy and they'll fall apart. But not, it's like, yeah, it's the Snow White Apple. Okay, there's a bite of apple there. Um, this is called, take the label off, a sugar bee. Burr. And um, they're good. They're good. They stay in big chunks and they're sweet. So you, and they're juicy. So you mix them with that. So this part should be easy. What first thing we're going to do is we're going to peel them. How old-fashioned is this, right? This is the old-school, super-duper old-school apple peeler. I love this thing. It's like rattle, rattle, rattle. It makes a little noise. And this is what I use to peel. I peel my apples. I peel my potatoes. I peel my carrots. I think I've had this for 300 years. I use this. It is awesome. And we love it. So we do that. And I do it over the sink. I have a garbage disposal. Apples are totally biodegradable, obviously. So... Did you know that putting crap down your garbage disposal with waste is good? Yes. Um, when you put stuff down the garbage disposal, you can put stuff in the trash, or you can compost. You want to get compost in your garden, have a compost. But if you put stuff down the garbage disposal, it creates bio waste. And there are these huge plants that they're building now. There's some already, but they're building a lot of them because it's a new thing that can process bio waste, which is all that stuff you put down the garbage disposal and everything else, and actually clean it up, look how easy that was, and turn it into water. But not only can they clean it, they take the bio waste, your apple cores, your eggshells, everything you put down the garbage disposal, and turn it into fuel. So you're actually doing the world a favor and doing a totally ecologically correct thing when you put your peel down the garbage disposal. It's not just, oh, it's polluting the water. No. If you were in the city, which I, it goes to a giant water treatment plant, and they harvest the bio waste for biofuel. Did you know that? I only recently learned that. Two kinds of apples. Very clever. Oh, people are saying custard or cream. Where, Ashley, Ashley, you said custard or cream. Where do you live? Because English people will put custard sauce on 
and cream on their pie. Americans, we like our pie either as is, or with vanilla ice cream, or get this, people do this, I thought it was weird, cheddar cheese. They put sharp cheddar cheese on their apple pie. I thought that was really weird, and then I tried it, and I was surprised that it was actually pretty darn good. So, hurry, bear, bear. Healing an apple. See, look at this. Like, he's so fast. I'm doing this like nothing. Because it's, you can drop it, and then it's fine. It's in the sink. It's not dirty. There. And this is like four, a lot of apples. Okay, I'm doing four apples. That's a lot. This is a lot of apples. You might make a smaller pie. These are deep dish crusts I'm using. Deep dish. Very deep dish. And I've got four freaking apples here. You might only, if you have a regular size pie crust, and your supermarket sells these particularly enormous apples, you might only, you might only need two. Maybe three. You may not need all four. These are deep dish pies, and I am stuffing it super duper chock full of apples. And um, it's going to be fabulous. So. Apples! What else do I need? Wait, I have things in the fridge that I put aside for this very purpose that I'm getting out now. Dun, 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 dun. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? small chunks? Well, it depends. You don't want the core. You don't want the core. Some people, they use an apple core. They get fancy and they core. I just kind of cut around the core. Old school, old school. Can you see this? Look. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit there. Go. There. Can you see me? <clears throat> can you see a knife apple? Good. Make sure you can see. This is totally tilted. Why is that tilted? Don't be tilted. There we go. There. Oh, look. Almost. To tilt it. I have to... Lowering the camera. So I love all this high-tech stuff that we do here like this. There. Look. Apple. Okay. Nice apple. Good. You can see. <clears throat> Don't chop your finger off. Be careful. Now, I just cut around the core. You can core them. I don't know. That might be too hard. <laughs> I just got easy. Old school. Everything we do here is... Now, oh yes, remember, Nellie made pies. But Nellie did not know how food worked. She just did not know. Nellie would totally make a pie with the peels in. Ew. You could bake apples with the peels on. That's probably... That's fine. But in a pie, yep, you gotta peel. You just have okay, to peel the poor things. And then just chop, chop. Hunks, giant hunks, hunks. Okay, hunka hunka. And I'm just like, I don't want to waste this part because it's on the core. You know, sometimes you just you cut down all the way to the core. You don't want to get seeds in there. It's like you. But sometimes you just take the core, and here's what you do. You have a snack while you're making apple pie. That's what Google does. You eat them. Yeah. No, we have a big pile. Apple. What, what do we do? Whoa, come up. Now, some people like their apples in huge, like slabs, in which case, like you wouldn't, you wouldn't even cut that up anymore. You just leave that. And you take this one and, um, there you go, all the way down, all the way down so you can totally, like, helicopter camp. Look, that you would just even do that and have like slices. But I find that 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 makes it it makes it it makes it hard to cut. You got to cut the pie. And so I always cut up some really really small. I cut up the regular little slicey guys and then I take some and I chop it up like little tiny pieces. And that sort of makes a nice mix. So, because those pieces then fall apart and become this sort of delicious apple goo that you might want in there. Yeah. And I'm going to start putting these in the bowl because I'm running out of room here to even cut these things up. Yay. Those are good size pieces. Those are small. Yep, 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 yep. That'll go in there. Pieces of apple. So, that looks good. Tilt that up like that. See, apples, luckily, are very easy to cut up, but you have to be careful, because don't chop your hand off. This is a very sharp knife. 
This is such a sharp knife. This is, that's not a knife, that's a knife. This is a really sharp knife. Did you know that a sharp knife is safer than a dull knife? Because a dull knife, it, you, you wind up like, <laughs> like pushing harder and you're like, yeah, and then it's, and you catch yourself. The sharp knife, because all you have to do is abracadabra like that, like nothing. You don't cut yourself. Mind you, you do have to watch what you're doing. This is the parental supervision part. Like, if you're a child doing this, you're a kid, you might want somebody else, a grown person, or someone who's really, like, doesn't have shaky hands. My mother couldn't do that with very shaky hands. My mother was like, hey, I dare you. No, you don't use the knife. Do it on the knife, Casper. Um, so you want to be careful that you don't cut yourself. So I'm very, very, very careful about these things. I have cut myself. I've cut myself. I've burned myself. I've practiced. I've hurt myself in the kitchen many, many times. I learned the hard way. So I'm mighty darn careful now about cutting up my apples and keeping my little tiny fingers out of the way because it's, it's dangerous. C'est dangereux. Très, très dangereux parce que le couteau, yep, it's sharp. I'm going to chop those up real small right there. Yeah, small, small, small. Small. I'm going to cut these up a little smaller because these are just huge, thick pieces there. Chop, 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 chop. Oh my god, that's enough. Okay. Ugh. And ugh. Ugh. Now, the reality is, apples, being the delicious things that they are, you could literally just fling this into a crust, throw some sugar on top, shove it in the oven. You could do that if you wanted to, because they're delicious. But we're going to do things. What are we going to do? Well, we are going to add sugar. They're pretty sweet. You don't really need a lot of sugar, but we have tart ones. We have super, super, super tart green, green ones. We have the, the Granny Smith super duper tart ones. So we need a tablespoon, big spoon, big spoon. Hey, this is over here. Yes, this is tablespoon. I'm going to add sugar. Now, I like brown sugar. It gives it that real, like, Almanzo's mom made it prairie taste. That's a lot of apples, so one, and two, and three. Boom, that's a lot. I'm going to go crazy, because I made one of these just the other day, and it was really tart. So four things. Oh, brown sugar. That's a lot of sugar, but they're really, really tart. Now, you know we need... Cinnamon, not cayenne pepper, not cayenne pepper. Cinnamon. Um, <coughs> you can go by teaspoon. I'm going to, oh, look. Shaky, 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 shaky. That looks good. I would say two teaspoons is probably correct is what you want. I am told salt goes in here. I'm like, why? I think it's, there, take that much salt. Like literally a dash just takes the edge off. These are ground cloves. Cloves. That's like what's in your pumpkin pie spice. We are not putting a lot of ground cloves in. We're using the teeniest little spoon they have. Wait, where's the smaller one? There's a smaller one, isn't there? No, this is it. The quarter. The quarter teaspoon. It is so tiny. And we're putting a little of that in there because they're delicious. But you can't put too much. It's like overpowering. Can you put nutmeg in an apple pie? You can. Whoop. Like barely. <clears throat> Just barely. You can put a lot of, honestly, if you're not sure what to do, you can also just throw some pumpkin pie spice. It's really good with pumpkin pie spice, especially with the brown sugar. Now what? Mix up. Mix a mix up. Tra la 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 la. Stir, stir. Throw apples on floor. Well, we'll see if the cat eats apples. Can't we? And we're going to mix this. Okay, this smells so good. I'm just saying right now, this smells really good. Okay. Tra la la la. Now, what about our crust? Is our crust going to get soggy? We will, here's what we do. We take beautiful Mr. Pie Crust. Hello, Mr. Pie Crust. Give me a fork. Fork. We take Mr. Pie Crust and poke, 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 poke it a lot with a fork and put it in the oven just a little bit, just a little bit. Because we're going to get it all bakey, bakey. Turn that on. Because you want the oven hot. The oven's going to be super hot, by the way. It's going to be like 450, which is crazy. So, then what does it need? Well, it needs a couple things. One of the things it needs is butter. Butter? Butter. That's a lot of butter. 
Should we do a lot of butter? Nah, we'll do a little butter. We will cut this down a bit. Do we? No. Butter. I take it's almost two tablespoons. That's about right. Two tablespoons. You could do a little less. We're gonna take this butter. We're gonna make it really easy here. We're gonna melt it in the microwave. Ta-da. So we're melting the butter. We also have some flour. And then my favorite thing is cream of tartar. You can use um, cornstarch. Cream of tartar is actually used when you make mock apple pie. Have you ever made mock apple pie? That's, I'll make that one day. That's so weird. Crackers! There's no app. mock apple pie. It's crackers. It's smashed crackers. Ugh. It sounds disgusting and sugar. But cream of tartar makes it uh, like apple pie. So cream of tartar is an awesome thing. Now what are we doing with this flour and this cream of tartar? We're melting the butter. Tiny bowl, tiny bowl. Tiny bowl! Um, and we're putting a little bit of flour. A little bit. We are talking the tiniest amount. Okay, again, there's that tiniest spoon. Cream of tartar! There, that's how much cream of tartar gets. I'll put a little more flour. So what am I doing with this? Where's my magic fork? Makes me make a tiny, tiny bit of water. You don't need a lot of, really, you don't want to put too much water because, hello, they're so juicy. These apples are so juicy, it's ridiculous. So, what's my crust doing? I want to make sure my crust is okay. Oh, puffy, 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 puffy. Butter is melty, melty. Boiling hot melted butter. Yes, we melted butter. Good, good melted butter. Yay. Melted butter. Do we have puffy crust? We are almost, almost puffy crust. Come on, puffy crust. Get up there and get puppy. Yeah. Puppy crust. Okay. So now we have all this other stuff. Look at it. Look at how the juice is cut. The juice is coming out of the apples because of all the sugar mix. Now, flour and cream of tartar. I'm actually going to mix that. Ooh, we can melt the butter. Why? Why? Because we're making. Is it like a white sauce? Yes. We're making gooey, thick stuff. Like we're making apple gravy is what we're making. And then, see, so you pour this in. You can, some people just sprinkle the flour and dot the butter. Because it is in the oven an awfully long time. I mean, you could. But I like to mix them up. And that way, they're already doing their thing. Smash that one up. It's too big there. Um, now look. Oh! Woo! They're smothered now in butter and sugar and spices and stuff. Shall we I'm gonna taste here. I'm going to get crazy. Oh, it's really good. And I'm going to add, um, where'd it go? Cinnamon. Because we're going to, you know, like Almanza, very prairie, lots of cinnamon. Like cinnamon apple pie. There. You can get crazy. You can add all kinds of things. You can add, you can add maple sugar. You can add maple syrup. You can put, um, cut up caramels in the bottom of the thing and, and make it a caramel apple pie. Tart apples for that. You can do all of that crazy, crazy stuff, and it will be super delicious. But we're doing that. Am I crazy? Do I need a little more flour? I need more sugar. They're very tart. They're very tart. So that's what you're allowed to taste it. It's just butter and apple. I won't hurt you. You're allowed to taste it. And now, roar. Okay, I'm calling that. That's enough. So I'm gonna put that away. Hi, hi. Mr. Pie Crust. Here's the pie crust. Okay. What are we doing? Mr. Mr. Fluffy Pie. Yes! Look at that. Okay. Puff up a little. Yeah, good enough. I'm going to say good enough because I want to make this. So, now it's not like raw. You can even get it where it's like puffing up. It's like hot. It's like semi-cooked. Tra la 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 la. Mm -hmm. I'm going to a little more. A little more. A little more. I'm going to let my... Crust get a little puffier. Puffier, puffier crust. Yay. Mmm. Dum, 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 da, dum. That looks pretty darn good. Tastes good. Tastes good. Let's taste another one. Got a tiny one. Put the juice on all over it. Ours for one. That is so dumb. Yeah, my, I'm getting my crust puffy. What are you doing? I'm getting my crust puffy. 
My cross needs to be bumpy. Little things. Fabulous spike wrap. Dun, 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 dun. That's good. That's super good. Now, this is going to be the top crust. Now, the top crust, it's kind of like, eh, yes, taking it out, putting it on a board, covered in flour, and rolling it with a rolling pin, and cutting little shapes in there, making a lattice work. But, yeah, we're showing you how to do this stupid easy. This did not require that. This, because what we're going to do is literally going to dump it on top and then squish it into place. We're just going to dump this on top and go, look, top crust. Um, if you know what you're doing, and I'll show you how to, but you can make pie crust, or you could put this even, dump it out on a board and roll it a bit. And then the thing is, picking up crust and putting it on top of pie is hard. That requires practice and skill. So we're going to make this like dum dum easy is what we're going to do. Yeah, there we go. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Lovely. Now, there you go. It's a little puffy. It's a little puffy. It started to cook, so it won't be soggy. Oh, my God, look at this. Yeah, this is very messy. Let me go flat on this. I've been loving this. Oh, my God. Hot, hot, hot. Okay, now. Oh, things are... Notice I use pot holders because things are hot. Oh, my God, look at this. We're just going to dump this all in here. Good Lord, look at all this. It's so full. We like that. And you see, that's why we have the little tiny pieces to sort of get in the, the little nooks and crannies here. Because you, like I said, you could use the giant slices, and then it gets like a like a French apple pie. Like a big tatin with the, just slices. You can do the French apple pie is all slices. Tatin, tatin de pomme, uh, de français. Yeah, you just, that one is the big slices, and it's really good. But we have broken it up. Squish, squish, squish. See, that little piece can go there. Like a jigsaw. Where all of these itty bitty pieces. See, I didn't use hotter. Wasn't that hot? Because it's been out of the oven for a second. But there we go. Look, it's chock full, chock full of apple. Look at that. Look at that. Now what? It's where we get crazy. Okay, this is not crazy. I'm going to tilt this down for this again. Okay. This is cheating. <laughs> Nelly Triche, this is cheating. This is the cheaters episode of pie. Because instead of making a crunchy, we're just literally going to go one, two, three, go! Abracadabra. It's going to work out the words. <gasps> look! Now that, that doesn't look very pie like. That seems wrong somehow. But nope, nope, no problem, no problem. We need wah wah. Okay, water, water, water. We squish, 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 and squish, and we squish the edge. Squish, 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 so that it is sealing. It's with, you wet it a little bit, just a little bit, but you squish it, squish, 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 squish. And in the squishing, you are sealing in the edges. And then we kind of do this. Blurp, blurp, blurp. There you go. Blurp. It's going to be squishy. Blurp. And you see now it looks like a big lumpy pie top. And this is where this comes in so handy. this sucker. And when you actually, what you do here, you see I'm doing this, look at that, it's cutting off like all the excess pie crust. Very fancy, making it like a nice neat pie. See there, just look at that, it crimped it, it crimped it like a real pie, it cut off the edges, there we go, and see now, perfectly respectable. But why isn't it shiny? I want my pie shiny. Hang on. What's this? This is a beaten egg. I beat this egg last night. You'll see why. Egg. You take an egg. And then you take a pastry brush. Can you see this? What? Yes. Beaten egg. And you put the beaten egg. And you paint. You paint the apple pie. Look at that. This is going to make it not too much. That's all. Shiny. Shiny. You can even get a little nutty. Little, a little bit, a little bit. Not too much. Little sugar, little sugar on top, little sugar, little bit of sugar. Oh, it looks like the ones from the bakery. It really will. And see now, now this looks like a real pie. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like we just threw a frozen pie crust 
on top and said, ta-da. It looks perfectly respectable, doesn't it? And we're going to put it in the oven. How hot? Really hot to start. Do you know you're supposed to put it in, so it's crazy, 450, 450 degrees, which is insanely hot. But that's how you do it, for 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Then, 350, way down, way down, 350, maybe lower, for at least 45 minutes. Venting, someone goes venting, fork, just a little bit. You want all that stay, you know, stuff to kind of stay in there, but there you go, fork, fork. And now, da-da-da-da, I am putting it in, get in there, you little thing. The oven. Now, because I've always wanted a cooking show, I've always wanted to be able to say, well, now we put the pie in the oven. Oh no, where's the pie? Because we would have to wait, and I've got it, 450. We would have to wait for an hour, over an hour, to have pie. But because we're pretending we're having a cooking show, hang on, this is too funny. I can't believe I did this. Yeah. apple pie. Where did that come from? Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I baked it last night. I did. I, <laughs> I baked this last night and it's fabulous. And um, <laughs> I did. I baked the whole pie last night. So, uh, Bob was in a syrup. Like, Do we get to taste some? I said, well, there's a piece where the crust broke right here. We can taste it. Like that. But I said, no, you can't cut it. I said, but tomorrow you'll have two pies. <laughs> so that's going to bake, and it'll be like later this afternoon, I'll have two pies. But there you go, the magic habit. Just like on a cooking show, we were able to go, ta-da! And this is what your pie will look like. It'll be a little, look, see how the crust is shiny? See how the crust is evenly brown and shiny? That's with egg, Bait, basting it with the egg. And you see how it's, it's, it's kind of lumpy bumpy, because we, <laughs> we cheated. We threw a, a crust on top, but it worked. It worked, and now the crust is kind of thick, because remember, this is a frozen bottom crust, so it's very thick, um, as opposed to, say, making your own pastry and rolling it, which would be, you know, flakier and all that. But what the heck, it's pie. Now, yes, totally mad. Oh my, hey, wait, this looks really good. Um, Nom, 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 nom. Are we going to eat this? You bet we are. Play. 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 So, what does it look like? Let's see if it, see if it worked. Because this is what I did. I did this last night. Get in there. Use the fork. Yes. Get under there. Come on. Break that crust. Ooh, little devil. I have a pie thingy. Hang on. Somewhere is a pie thingy. Pie thingy! Get in there. All right. Yes. Okay. It's working. Holy moly. It's falling apart. It's very hot. Some people wait till their pie has cooled or at least set for a minute. Clearly, I did not do that. Uh, <laughs> I didn't care. It's hot. It's falling apart. Look at those apples, though. Here. See how the apples are very soft and um, they're like soaked in cinnamon. They're brown. Now, oh my god. Oh, um, oh wow. Okay, so <laughs> hunk of crust, hunk of apple. Here. It's really hot. Oh. The apples just melt, melt, melt in your mouth. Look at that. And it's thick. There's no runny. It's all thick with cream of tartar apple goo. That was a sweet one. There's sweet ones. There's tart ones. So when you're eating it, you're getting like several different tastes. I'm tasting cinnamon. I'm taking brown sugar, sour apples, sweet apples. It's all happening. And the crust... It's very good. It's, like I said, this is a supermarket frozen 
pie crust. And um, they're pretty darn good. These apples have come up very soft, but they held their shape. And that's why they talk about firm apples, because they will get, look at that squishy. I'm even wondering if it needs the whole 45 minutes. I don't think it does. I think once it's done that 450 business, and the bottom crust is not soggy. That thing of baking it, just a couple minutes, just a couple minutes baking it, no soggy bottom crust. Like, mmm, I could, it is really good. This is a seriously good, it's fluffy, it's like fluffy. It just melts, it just melts in your mouth. So I'm going to do that one at 450 minutes. I might do less than 45 minutes at 350. My oven's really hot and these apples are just melting like that. So it's pretty good. Now, in America, we put uh, things like vanilla ice cream on our pie and Bob's picking up vanilla ice cream on the way home. But some people put cheddar cheese on their pie, like melt it. Is it good? Let's find out. Pie pie thing's okay. I think the vanilla ice cream's better. But there you go. Ta-da. Pie. See, see how it's all chock full of oozing brown sugar cinnamon apples. And like I said, adjust the flavors. Use white sugar. Use brown sugar. Use maple sugar. Use maple syrup. Put kind of caramels in it. Put raisins in it. Put raisins in it? Yes, people put raisins in it. Put raisins in it. Use whatever sugar. You like the cinnamon? Put more cinnamon. Put less cinnamon. Use completely super sour mm, oh, Giant Smith's if you want. Make it a tart, apple pie. Big chunks, small chunks. Any way you want. That is how you make apple pie. Um, like I said, you can learn to do the crust thing, and we will at some point. This is just kind of hard. That's a mango pie. I love that I just put a raw pie in and pulled the cooked pie out. That was awesome. It's looking good. Like I said, get keep an eye on only 50 minutes of that. So there, boom, apple pie. You can make peach pie, you can make pear pie. You can not make any pie, really, because you just watch this. That's how like hard pie is. Blueberries even easier. Just gonna like dump them in, sprinkle sugar, shove them in the oven. There's like nothing. Um, so we'll do other pies. So there you go. That is how you make apple pie. You see, you can do the cooking. Super easy. Nellie Olson could have done that even before Percival. It's like not that hard. All right, I will see you later today. I'll be reading. I'll be hanging around and um. There you go. Stay well. Wash your hands.